This public park was once a symbol of hope and resilience, but now it holds memories of a struggle to save 82 schoolgirls still in captivity from the 276 kidnapped by Boko Haram on April 14, 2014 from Chibok Secondary School. One of them is Nkeke Mutas' niece. Every day, in the morning, in the afternoon, we feel pain on, about this uh, because of the absence of this, our niece. We heard that some were dead, and that is one of the things that we are advocating. If government can be kind enough to tell us or to release all the names of those that are dead, so that we can forget about it. Days following the kidnappings, activists coalesced and started the Bring Back Our Girls or BBOG movement, demanding their rescue. Back then, the group met here daily and their campaign sparked global outrage, but not anymore. There is um, fatigue in the struggle. When the Bring Back Our Girls started and it was gaining traction globally, there are a lot of responses from even foreign governments ready to support Nigeria. So far, 194 girls have returned either by escaping or they were freed through government negotiations. But the threat of mass kidnapping remains. Amnesty International says Nigeria has recorded 17 cases in which at least 1,700 children were seized from schools since Chibok. Recent attacks have been perpetrated by armed gangs known as bandits. The gangs often demand huge ransoms to free their captives. Nigerian authorities say they have not forgotten those in captivity. If it was we are using the conventional method of fighting, we would have entered all the communities and flattened everything to start all over. But we can't do that because we know there are no state actors holding other people uh, against their will. So we have to be very deliberate. There are instances where we've gone for attack because civilians were there, we call off the strike. Families and BBOG activists disagree. They say authorities have not shown the political will to address the problem. On Sunday, they remembered the girls on the 10th year anniversary of their abduction. Unfortunately, the Chibo girls' abduction was only the beginning of countless abductions that have led to a thriving abduction industry in our nation since the government have refused to bring the perpetrators of the abduction of our Chibo girls to book. Sadly, you could even see people that are supposed to take the necessary action, especially the security agencies, providing excuses for what happened that the children have been taken to a difficult terrain to be accessed. If the terrorists can access a difficult terrain, what more of uh, our security forces? Until the girls are freed, many like Muta will be waiting for some sense of closure. Timothy Obiezu, VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.